G'day Scorpio, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now, I'll see what's going on, hey? So this is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watches, this could be your energy, if not it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes and views. Oh, and comments are now open, um, so... Be nice, <laughs> not just to me, but to each other. <laughs> so, yeah. And the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's start with a message for you, Scorpio. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Woohoo, yes. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Woohoo. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And, ooh, reconciliation. Someone in your past is returning to your life. Hmm. So you're feeling the passion, expressing your love, thinking this could be the one. And then someone returns? Or is this someone from the past you feel this passion for? Hmm. 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 Well, it says go ahead. This could be the one. Express that love and that passion. If someone comes back, someone comes back. Hmm. All right. You know you deserve love, so maybe you'll retreat from that person from the past, or maybe you're going back to that person. Oh, there's that passion again. Passion. Get to know each other. Yeah, if it is someone from the past, get to know each other again. Or if it's someone you get to know them. Yeah, you feel that passion. Your heart's singing with joy. But get to know them. All right. Let's go. Three cards for the love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Okay, we got them. We have a romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So someone's got the feels for you, Scorpio. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. They think you could be the one. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So no pressure. I think it's going to be up to you. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. They want to give this relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Staying optimistic about their love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. They're very attracted to you still. And wanting to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss their feelings with you. Ooh. Wow. 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 Okay, it's Mercury in retrograde. This is the second reading I've done now with someone returning from the past. If it is this past, if it is a past person, I think it could be, but we'll see. Or are they coming in because you found someone else? Hmm. All right. Message for you, Scorpio, is. The Hermit, Seven of Pentacles, The Hangman, and The King of Pentacles. So you've had some alone time, you've done some thinking, you've done some investing within yourself, seeing things from a whole different perspective now, feeling stable and grounded and ready for commitment. Looking for that commitment. That chocolate cake looks good, and that wine. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. And the loyalty of the dog, yes. Wanting someone loyal and stable and grounded. Committed. You're, gonna, you're looking at things differently now, though. Mmm. Yeah. Six of Pentacles, wanting a balanced give and take relationship. Or to balance things out with someone. 
Tell me about romantic feelings for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, someone wants to invest in you. They've been reviewing the past and they still have those romantic feelings for you. They want to invest in you. I've got those romantic feelings. Want to invest those romantic feelings in you. Wow, Six of Wands. Wanting your attention. Wanting this to be successful. <sighs> Giving you flowers, I'm hearing. Male or female? <laughs> hmm. They're giving you a gift of some sort. They want to give you a gift. King of Cups. They've got a lot of love that they are hiding and not showing you. You are their wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. And the Six of Swords. They know they've possibly sabotaged this by moving away. Oh, maybe they sabotage this too much and you'll move, you, they feel you could be moving on. Chariot, yeah. That's what the yeah, air, that you've moved on triumphantly and yeah, they're Nine of Swords, they're stressed about that. That maybe you've moved on. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, we saw the king. And there's the queen. They want that love and stability and commitment with you. Alright, tell me about this could be the one for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Come here. Ooh, two of swords and the eight of pentacles. Well, they think you could be the one, but they don't know if you want to work on this. They don't know if you're going to want to work on this. They want to work on this no matter what. Perhaps they're unsure how to communicate. This is swords. Indecision. Not sure how to tell you that they want to work on this. Because of the painful ending that happened between you two, but they want the pain to end. And if they don't, if you don't want to work on this, it will be a painful ending for them. They see you as the one, though. The Hermit, Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, we saw the Queen before, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, they thought a lot about this when they've been, you know, in separation when they've been alone here. They want to come in with passionate action here and show you that st stability and commitment, but... Yeah, and then this heartbreak, because they're still heartbroken... Yeah, their whole world was turned upside down. It was became a bit of a nightmare for them. And I'm hearing they know that their stubbornness caused you to move on. Mm. They're definitely single, Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Wanting to come in with that offer of love, Knight of Cups. Wanting to take actions of love. They're definitely single, which I didn't pick up from that hermit card, but that's what it's telling me. <laughs> yeah, they're really burdened by the fact that these aren't together. Tell me about let go of control issues for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Oh. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands and the Moon. I think they're waiting to hear from you because they want to have this passionate back and forth communication with you or even travel to see you, but they're afraid with the moon. 
So they may just wait for you to contact them. Afraid of what you're going to say if they have try and have this back and forth communication with you. They may still send a message, but they're afraid of what your response is going to be, but they're just going to try and just let it go and see what happens because they do want balance, give and take with you. Oh, yes, they do. They want to balance this out. They want balance, give and take with you. They want this balance between you two. They want to, like I said, they want to give you a gift, but I'm feeling it more with this card than this one. Really more balance with this one. Yeah, they want to come in and show you that love. Knight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, that long-term stability that they want with you. Three of Pentacles, putting that work in. Nine of Pentacles, showing you how stable and independent they are. Yeah. Two of Cups, they want, they still feel this connection. They still feel this connection, even though you two are apart, yeah, but they're single. They still feel this connection. They want to put that work in. They want that stabil that long-term stability commitment with you and to show you how much they love you. Wow. Okay, let's get another message for you, Scorpio. Self-esteem. You're feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Fear. Ooh. Guilt. Ooh. Denial. Ooh. Wow. So, you're trying to keep your self-esteem up here. You're feeling pretty good about yourself, but there's some fears and guilts that you're denying here. You're in denial about fear and guilt, denial, wow, humor, indecision. Oh, you're tr you yeah, you're trying to hide the hide behind humor because you, there's indecision here about change. Yeah, if the, yeah. That things may have changed and this may not come back together again. This may fail. Because of your part in the breakout. Oh dear. You're trying to stay confident though. Yeah, you're worried about this failing. And being alone. But you're trying to keep your self-esteem up here. But you are afraid. <gasps> dear. Oh dear. Oh, Scorpio doll. Oh. Don't panic. They they think you are the one. Hmm. Give me three cards for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. It's just one. Okay, we're taking the bottom one. Oh, that landed first. Okay. So they have guilt. Oh, dear. So they've got guilt. Failure. <laughs> They're worried about failing too. Oh. And forgiveness. Wow. Hmm. So they're feeling the guilt. Worried about this failing, begging for forgiveness. I'm hearing, not begging, but in a way, pride, ooh, regret, happiness, and blame. Yeah. So 
the same as you, self-esteem, but this is pride. They're trying to hide behind their pride and act like everything's fine, but they're having regrets because they missed out on their happiness with you, blaming themselves for that. Yeah, they're worried. They're very worried that they've lost this abundance with you. T trying to get that courage up to change, yeah, to get things to change. They want you back. They want this to change. Yeah, and they've got to stop trying to control things and ask for some forgiveness here. I hope that you'll be forgiving. I'm hearing that they failed to see that you were the one before. Okay, message for you, Scorpio. Is, ooh, five of swords. Eight of wands. Three of wands. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm hearing, don't sabotage this with the way that you're going to communicate with this person. When they, look, you both got eight of wands. They want to communicate. So when it comes in, don't, don't self-sabotage it here. Just wait. Breathe. Think about what you're going to say and speak of stability. Keep stable communication. Six of Pentacles, this can be balanced out here. Both got Six of Pentacles here as well. But just, I'm hearing things before you speak. Um, yeah, don't sabotage it when this communication comes in here. Your ships will come in, just make sure you speak of stability. Yeah, try and, or wait, wait for a stable offer from them to balance things out. Make sure they come correctly here before you give them that happily ever after. Yeah, don't go charging in, just don't make a decision yet. Till you see things transform into this beautiful love. Yeah. So. Because oh, I think they've got things they need to say. So just hear them out. But don't sabotage it just because it comes in as passionate communication. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You stay stable yourself. Within yourself. Yeah. And speak your truth. But don't sabotage it. No, I don't want the next one. Yeah. Be truthful to yourself, but stay stable and grounded within yourself. You're stable, you're fine, you're good. So just speak speak your truth, but yeah. Alright, tell me about guilt for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. <laughs> you only going to say your name then. Ooh. So, Eight of Cups, the Sun, and the Fool. Yeah, they have guilt for walking away from their happiness. They feel like a fool. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> they feel like a fool for walking away. Page of Wands. And for only having that passionate communication with you. No talk of stability. Now there's pentacles on this, yeah, all over this. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, six of pentacles. They want that stability now. Yeah, they feel guilty. Oh, yes, they do. They can't sleep at night. The coulda, shoulda, wouldas. The Chariot, Nine of Swords, the Chariot, the Two of Cups, and the High Priestess, yep. Yeah, they're feeling that guilt and shame, definitely. Because this could have moved forward into this beautiful Two of Cups love. And now they, you know, and they know it. The High Priestess knows, they know it. But instead they let the wheel turn and the tower fall. So on something that could have been stable and committed 
now they want to come in with that stable offer, but they're at a crossroads. They don't know what you're going to say. Are you going to see they're still toxic and totally disappointed in them? Or can this be balanced out and they have that beautiful love with you? This is, yeah, they all, oh, they feel that guilt. Yeah, they've been waiting, sitting in that guilt, knowing what a fool they were for walking away from their happiness, which was you. Now they're left standing on the shore. Tell me about failure for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Prince of Swords, or pa oh, Knight of Swords. They feel they failed in their actions of truth. They failed to rush in and tell you the truth. Or they want to rush in and tell you the truth about how they failed you. They feel like a failure. Four of Wands in offering the, yeah, that's right. They didn't offer you that stability. They failed in offering you that stability. They failed in being truthful in their actions. They know they failed you by not acting truthfully and not giving you that stability. Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands and the Empress. Yeah, so they failed. There was they offered too much confusion and illusion. That's why they got they know that's why they got left out in the cold. Now they want a passionate new beginning and something that'll grow with you. Oh, the Emperor and the Empress. Wow, they do see you as the one. Power couple right there. They see how powerful this connection was. They now see how powerful this connection was. Wow. What they failed to see before. Mm. Now they want to apologise. Page of Cups. Tell me about forgiveness for this love energy coming towards Scorpio, please. Someone must be dealing with a Capricorn because they keep going to say Capricorn. Not all of you. It's for the ones dealing with a Capricorn, this is, yeah, definitely your reading. The rest of you, yes, this is your reading too, but yeah, especially the people dealing with the, someone who's got Capricorn energy. Okay, I think we have the Chariot and the Four of Swords. Yeah, they want forgiveness so this they can move forward in this with you and get that heal this relationship. They want forgiveness to heal this so it can move forward triumphantly. They want to charge in and heal this. They want that forgiveness. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. They want forgiveness for being so slow. So slow in offering stability to you. Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, Two Nines, Ooh, and the Bad Nines, and the Eight of Swords. Wow. Wow. So they could have been very focused on passion, but I'm feeling more this is your energy. Like they see you as hot and sexy and beautiful, independent, confident, like really turned on by you, male or female. Um, very turned on by you. Yeah, they feel like a wounded warrior because they created this nightmare for themselves. They know they did it to themselves. It wasn't you. They feel like you've probably got your guard up now. 
Yeah, it's a night they can't sleep at night and they stress about this all day as well, all day and night, wanting this forgiveness for them being so guarded against this and only focusing on that passion and not the stability. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Hmm, something's going on with the planets. Okay, what would you like to say, Scorpio? I'm single and ready for love. Yes, you are. Can we at least be friends? I can't wait to see you again, and I'm scared I'll get hurt, so I run. So, you, you, yeah, you still feel for this person. You're single and you're ready. You're ready. You want at least friendship with them, and you can't wait to see them again, but you, you're scared if they're still the same, that you're going to get hurt again. So you may run. No, they said no. <sighs> yeah. Oof. And you're thinking maybe it's best to keep them in the friend zone. Well, keep them, you know, be friends with them and find out what's going on. Be friendly. Find, get to know them before you, um, yeah, decide what's going to happen. I will contact you soon. Oh, you're going to reach out, are you? Please contact me. Oh, you want them to contact you. But, you, yeah. Well, you both have that eight of wands. Had that eight of wands, so. You're looking to contact them soon, but you're hoping that they're going to reach out and contact you. Hmm. But, yeah, there is a fear it's not going to work out. And they're not going to be available. Uh, that's why I think you're waiting for them to contact you. Alright, give me three cards at least for what this love energy would like to say to Scorpio, please. Oh, there's only one. What am I doing? It's one. I can't right now. Well, we might as well put that up. I can't right now. Alright, that's a bit weird. What would they like to say to Scorpio? At least two more, please. Okay, is that one? That one. Mm, something flipped. Yes, it did. That one. Oh, no. That one, not that one. Okay. And they have, I can't give you what you want. I look at your pictures a lot, and I pretend I don't care about you. Well, I can't right now because. They're afraid they're not going to get this forgiveness. Can't give you what you want. They're afraid they can't give you what they want. That you're not going to want what they're offering. They look at your pictures a lot and they, you know, pretend they don't care, but they do. It's that pride. Pretending they don't care. And keeping you a secret, yeah. They're secretly in love with you. There was someone else. Oh, is that the reason for the breakup? You make my skin tingle. And like I said, you are so hot. Yeah, they definitely are turned on by you. I think you're hot, Scorpio. Because you are. And I've hidden my love for you. Yeah, they have. They have hidden their love for you. They did in the past too. Hid their love from you. Wow. 
Was there someone else? I'm hearing you'll, you will know. It's not something that you don't know about. Either you had someone else or they had someone else. It's nothing that you don't know. So if there wasn't someone else, that's not for you. I'm not revealing a secret here. Oh, they're keeping a secret that there was someone else. Mm. Mm, maybe they had their eye on someone else in the past. They kept it a secret. Hmm. Wow. All right. Okay, well, that's your reading, Scorpio. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.